Hello and welcome to Access UTV. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm talking about including everything and rejecting nothing. Now, we had a really interesting episode this morning in our household. I have some of the most kindest caring beings that live in my home, um, including my husband and my children. Um, and this morning we discovered another little being that was living in our home, unbeknownst to us. And uh, Aiden was walking around over to the toilet and he just happened to catch a little bit of movement in the corner of his eye and turned and saw this mouse. And he just said, oh, hello little mousey. Now, I don't like having mice in my house purely because of the mess they make. They shouldn't pee everywhere and eat things that they're not supposed to eat and it just really doesn't work for me to have them in my home and I he, he kind of caught it in a bit of a spot and it couldn't actually escape and I came around the corner and I looked at it and there was this little mouse and it's kind of sitting there and then it starts trying to climb through doors that weren't open and it was trying to escape and I turned to Aiden and I said to him should we feed it? And he looked at me and got all excited about feeding this little mouse and it was just really exciting. And I said, yeah, I'm a mouse chap. And he said, like, oh. And the really funny thing was like, I actually had no exclusion of this mouse from my life, my living, my joy, my space. And the, it just didn't work for me to have it in my home. Now, if I put out a mouse, mouse trap and they choose to commit suicide on it, not my fault. If they see the mouse trap and go, ha ha, I know what you're doing, and you obviously don't want me here, I'm leaving, I don't have a point of view about that either. I do have a point of view if they see the mouse trap, ignore the mouse trap, and continue to make a mess of my house. Um, and so, what are you, are you willing to include everything? without judgment and yet not be a doormat because so often people say oh but oh you know I want to include everything and oh it's all lovely lovely and uh, I must allow this mouse to be in my home because that's including it no you don't have to have everything walk all over you and treat your space as a dumping ground. If that doesn't work for you, change it. Give it the information. You know, I sent the little mouse a little picture of living somewhere else, um, you know, of my house being kept clean and tidy and um, not being eaten. What else did it give me an awareness of? Ha, huh. okay. I know that there is an access point to my pantry and I also have lots of bags of stuff in my pantry rather than everything in containers. So not only did I put the mouse trap out, but I also tidied up the pantry. Because if it chooses to ignore the mouse trap, I'm actually creating my life that space of mice not eating through my packets of things um, by choosing to create a pantry that has plastic containers that are sealed rather than bags that can be chewed through. So are you willing to include everything, be separate from nothing and still create your own reality? And everything that doesn't allow that, will you destroy and uncreate it please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine boy shorts and beyonds. So who have you been refusing to receive from? that if you were willing to include them could create more awareness and create your reality with more ease. So thanks for joining me here at Access UTV and what else is possible if you were to include everything and judge nothing. Cheers.